hello, uh, my name is Daniel Zhang, uh, PM from the DFI SBC team. I'm also the webinar host today. So, uh, welcome. Before we start our the webinar presentations, so just to make sure you can see our PowerPoint uh, on the screen, that's the first. And the second, we will mute your microphone. And also do remember to close your webcam. Otherwise, I will see you on the screen. Okay. Uh, if you have any questions, you can put your question on the chat box. And after the webinar, I will uh, answer your questions with the Q&A time. Today's topic, we talk about the uh, successful stories on the DFI products. I will focus on the automations, uh, factory automations point of view. <clears throat> The first section I will discuss the, the DFIs on the automation field. The second one, I will show you some automation technology highlights on DFI's products. And the next sections will be some successful application stories on the DFI's use case. Okay, before our webinar, the DFI is a company that has been uh, 30 years in the IPCs industries. Our co-content is the, for the, the multiple designs and some embedded products. Okay, so we have uh, over the 700 uh, employees worldwide and including the 100, uh, 180 the resource. In DFI products, uh, is set with the two parts of that. The first one, we have a subsystem, the multiple, including the industry multiple. <clears throat> From the industry multiple, we'll have the, the very high performance, the upgrade ATS board, up to the, the small size SBC. And they are also one of the SOM modules for customers. For SOM modules, we have, will provide the compact uh, Kong Express Basics or 27 or Smart phone factors for the customer if they need to decide their proprietary is a carryable. In the system levels, we will provide the embedded part, bus, uh, bus PCs. They will have uh, some like the fan or fan less the performance with the multiple IOs for customer. And for some uh, industry uh, panel PC series, we will have some panel PC for customer, but also provide you the display product series. Uh, go back to our the application focus. We can see the DFI have a uh, uh, lots of products with a special application. For example, like the, today's we focus on the automation. Others like the energy, medical gaming or transportation, especially with some mission critical, marine, or, or the, some other retail applications, there are also uh, lots of DFI products uh, focus on our uh, standard products customer or audience products customers. Now I will go through the automation, the technical highlight. Before we move in the uh, automations uh, topic, <clears throat> we need to talk about the industry's uh, revolution right now with the three key uh, perspective. The first wording we need to know is the industry 4.0 is the first uh, industry revolutions to impact the automations applications. Because at the beginning automations applications, uh, it's a uh, quite popular on the older factories. But after that, for the industry, the 4.0, all the device and the sensors had to be uh, connected with each other by wires or wireless. Not only that, the device and the sensors, they need to control with each other, also with cooperatively. 
After that, the uh, impact from the industry 4.0, we also see some impact from the AI, especially on the machine vision in the factories. While we talk about the machine vision, machine vision is the uh, technologies and the method to use on providing the image base, automatic inspections and analysis. <clears throat> for such applications that will use on the automatic inspection or for the process control, some will use on the robust guidance, especially on industry field. And the, the next one, the issue we always talk about is the IoT connectivity, because all the sensors or device, they need to connect it with each other. So we see these two, three key factors will always impact our industry revolutions. Then we go deep to the factory automations uh, on the spec over some technical point of view. All the data have to be managed and the connectivity. On the factories, they will use some uh, local Ethernet connect. Also on advanced usage, they will use industrial Ethernet that can, uh, like the Ethercat, the protocol. For the wireless, the Wi-Fi is the module is uh, the mass items on, on this field. Others like the MBIOT or the LoRa, <clears throat> that is a kind of uh, low speed transfer and the low powers, uh, low power consumptions, especially the, like this kind of uh, technology, it provides a very long distance uh, transfers. So especially this kind of technology they uh, will use on like the parking or the, the factories. For the high throughput applications, currently it's the 4G uh, technologies, but on the coming years, the 5G will be dominate the applications. How about the DFI products, the code competence? The DFI, the code competence, we focus on the computing power first. For example, the Intel C uh, processor platform is uh, quite popular right now because it provides a, a various of the CPU processors or uh, with the very good it's a ecosystem or software or uh, peripheral support. The others like the AMD processors, it uh, gives the customer another choice for good cost and performance uh, value. And the AMD processors always uh, have the better uh, GPU performance around two, uh, 10 or 20 performance compared to Intel, uh, the same great uh, platform. So, some customer like it uh, in um, signage or on the, the video stream application, they prefer to use this kind of uh, AMD platform. Others like the IoT field, uh, especially on the IoT small device. NXP IMS is the dominating this market because on the IMS 6 or the, the 8, the processors they have a very good uh, the price uh, positions. Others, it uh, provide a very low power consumptions. A very good uh, the platform for the IoT device. How about uh, some key features on the factory automations? We talk about the basic IO first. For example, uh, the basic they will have some comport. Uh, if you use the, the IS-222, it's a quite standard spec on the factory automation. But for the long distance, uh, the transfer, they will choose IS-485 RS spec. Others like uh, GPIO controls, the USB ports, uh, there was also some the comments, uh, uh, basic IO on the factory side. But some customer they prefer will need to some advanced features. For example, for the IO isolation, IO isolation is to protect your motherboard to prevent some power surge coming from your device size, like the PLC 
the signal feedback. That, uh, if uh, that happens, they will damage your motherboard, your core computing uh, cores. So there will have also some advanced I/O features over there. Not only the compute basic computing powers or the the factory automations uh, power features. We also provide you a various of the OS support, especially on the Linux or some Windows uh, operating systems. Based on all those the uh, ready platform, the customer can use the their dedicated uh, proprietary applications on that to build their own applications. Not only the hardware or the software point of view, we also see the industry power, the coverage is also another key factor for the customers. For example, generally the industry 12 volt is quite common on the factory, but also on some uh, automation or uh, some HMI unit, they will use the 24 volt. Not only the 12 or the 24 volt, um, some power, uh, power cells are critical environment. They need to increase their power input tolerance. To increase it, for example, the 12 volt with a minus uh, or uh, with the 20% more coverage, or 24 volt with more 20% power coverage to protect your uh, unit. Others like the ATS powers or special power like the power by PoE also quite uh, very popular or on special uh, field. So the power is also another key spec of this uh, technology. Now I would like to introduce us some uh, AI ready platform because the, in the coming the factory or the smart factories, all the unit should be come with the AI uh, capability. Uh, here I list the three kinds of the application from the small size we call it the HAI. The, in the HAI, the most of the task here is to do the inference. The inference means you will do the, the basic the decision making from the, the from this kind of the software. So on DFI's product offering, we give you the embedded uh, the CPU and GPU inside. Um, for example, the GHF51, this is a 1.8 inch SBC with a powerful CPU inside. But you can also leverage its embedded GPU code to run in your API applications. In the system level, you can choose the EC90A products. In the middle middle end H, you can see the uh, we call it the code the, the the gateway AI. What is the gateway AI doing on this kind of application? It, uh, in the first task. The AI will also do the inference task at this kind of bus, but it will also uh, do some uh, local training the task at the same time. That means uh, this kind of the form factor or the, the control bus, you need to have a more powerful uh, perception inside. But sometimes they will have some problem or trouble for the performance issue. May, you can add another graphic card to accelerate your AI the, uh, performance requirement. In the last, that we call it a, a high-end and the cloud-based AI. So basically, it's, uh, this kind of the form factor or this kind of uh, application, they will focus on the high-end, like the Intel Xeon Gray or AMD 3000, uh, 3000 series products. This is here I mentioned about the, the very high end, uh, up to 100 watt CPU uh, performance, the, the, the grade. So on this kind of uh, application or this kind of platforms, 
you also can add up to three uh, by 16 graphic card to uh, boost your AI performance on the training. Okay, let's uh, move to our some application story today. So on the first, I show you a very typical uh, pictures on the factory automation. So first you can see the, they are AGV or service robots. They will go around on the factories to carry the material or the, the shipping. And the, the AGV is a quite popular application on the factory automations. And the second one is the, some uh, tool control or uh, the robot control. On the robot control, you also have some uh, like the, the sensors, the control unit, the, some technology inside of this kind of uh, uh, application. Others like on the every uh, production line, aside of that, they, they will have some edge computing over there. We call it a data logger. The data logger, the purpose is to get the data, uh, local data and send it back to the cloud of the control room to help the, the engineer to make the, the decision or to do the big data analysis. As I mentioned, there's a machine vision. Machine vision is a very popular uh, on the current smart factory. So not only the machine visions is also for the AOI or others uh, inspection or quality test. They will all use this kind of uh, image based uh, uh, technologies. There are also another very popular uh, uh, products uh, like the panel PC product to use as the HMI uh, application. And all the data is from our, our, our the, on the factories. They will need uh, the middle uh, the gateways to control for the data transfers. Others uh, like the, the control room, they will do the, uh, like the remote management to control all the uh, factories environments. So after that, we have the basic understandings for the factories. It's a quite clear picture for us. So the first one I show you is the, I mentioned earlier, the data loggers. This is a, a, a broad diagram, the use case, uh, to show you what the typical data log uh, doing. Data loggers are one may well call, it's also called uh, the data recorders. This is a 5.7-inch uh, panel PC with run with the, the low powers IDAMX6, IDAMX6 for success. The OS is a Linux a YATOS and the application is running on the JavaScript. And before the, the unit set up or deploy on a side of the, the production line, the, the, the engineer will use the, the then one to do its initial setting or to do some the big data transfers. After that, the then one no need to connect. The most of the time, they will need the Wi-Fi to do the, some uh, data transfers. Others like uh, the connect to the, the device size or the PLC size, they will use the, the Comfort RS232 or the LAN2 to do the uh, local data transfers. So this is a quite typical the data logger application. How about the machine vision? Machine vision, you can consider it's a, a very powerful bus PC in the, in, 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 inside of the, 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 the machine. So uh, most of the time we will use the desktop grade, the CPU, uh, with a one graphic card. And nine to 36 degrees uh, voltage input is a quite popular on the power source. And most of the time it will need the 4K display by the display port or the HDMI to do 
the video check. Other slide, that, as you know, the machine regions, they will use the industry grade camera. So the high speed USB 3 interface is the, the mass item for this kind of application. And for some uh, field or application or for the environment, they have uh, don't have the much the local uh, power cells for the camera. They will consider to use the PoE USB uh, PoE interface to running with their uh, industry grade camera to do the vision. Others like the, the graphic cards uh, to do graphic uh, uh, enhancement, they will use the PCIe by 16 interface. And the GPIO uh, interface is uh, very popular to do the local device control. How about the AGV or uh, the, like the service robots? Uh, this is a, a service robots use case. For example, in the middle, you can see there is the 3.5 inch SPC. Uh, here it uh, provided the, the core computing powers. Not only that, he will also do the job for the, the Wi-Fi data transfer. And some USB 2 RFID interface, you can do the, the user ID identifications. It's also the provide the USB interface for some camera or the image uh, check. There are, there are also the I, I2C interface for optical the avoidance or to have the some extension for the ultrasound avoidance. The avoidance can be uh, prevent your HEV or the service robot to be uh, damaged uh, on the environment. So this kind of uh, technology also quite popular on the drone. And on the multiple sides, they will use the IS-232 connect to a special or the proprietary IO control bowl. So the IO control bowl over here is to provide the, the basic motor controls that pass through the PWM or RDAS interface. GPIO here also can provide some indicator purpose features of the status LED. Another uh, the main or the, the key technologies for the HEV or the service robots, it's uh, for the, the power control. So most of the uh, most of times inside of that will have a power control board to monitor the powers or your battery status to make the alarm or to do the, the battery monitoring. So basically. Uh, based on different kinds of uh, performance requirement or different kind of applications, and you can choose uh, the customer will choose either 3.5 inch or 2.5 inch SBC uh, by different kind of uh, applications. Uh, this picture is uh, a standard uh, warehouse HEV. You can see the uh, real picture, so you can have a more clear. Uh, idea. So uh, this is a, a service robot um, on the hospital. Okay. So from the picture, you can see this robot carry a, a one cabinet. It carries that from some the medical waste. The medical waste is the potentially is the dangerous because it will cause a lot of uh, uh, a disease or the, some uh, infection or some uh, shaved waste or chemical waste uh, inside of that. So it may hazardous to the people who are on the workplace or the cleaners or some general public. So with the hospital service robots, you can, uh, that can handle this kind of job to replace the, the human. Uh, next one, it's uh, a quite uh, typical application on the robots. 
that we call it the it uh, teaching panda, teaching panda, uh, the use uh, it's uh, defined as uh, when the robot is on the teaching or learning mode, the teaching panda can be wired or wireless uh, modules to set some uh, setting or the key factors uh, for the robot step by step. Okay, so uh, this is the use case. Uh, they use the Q7 modules and the customer design their own carrier board. And customer choose either the X8, X86 or on base platform because we provide not only the Linux but also the Android OS support. So it can operate on the harsh industrial conditions. Uh, this is also a robot sticks control system, but uh, this case they choose uh, the higher performance uh, uh, computing cores by the, the Core i series. So you can see it's a common modules uh, with the, their uh, proprietary carrier goal as well. Okay, on this page, it's a uh, automatic materials handling system. It's uh, by uh, one industry computing bus PC. So it's based on its uh, cold performance and the wide temperature support. The key spec uh, or a key winning point on this case, it's uh, this model won't, uh, not only run with the Intel, uh, the processor cores, it combined with the Intel Wi-Fi the dedicated modules to provide the customer to do the wireless or remote OS reboot control. Uh, the benefit for the wireless OS reboot control that is because sometimes this kind of control bus PC will install or the mounted on a place uh, maybe very high or not uh, easy to reach place. So the service or maintenance, the people not easy to reach. So this is the key winning features on this case. Okay, this slide that you show you an autonomous uh, mobile uh, robot. Autonomous mobile robot is uh, the AGV combined with the mobile robots uh, solution. So you can see the uh, the pictures over here. And it's uh, inside of that is the industry grade computing uh, bus PCs, wide temperature supports, and also the provide with the uh, remote OS reboot features and the compo isolation, as I mentioned. This case is a, a plastic uh, injection system. It's a kind of the machine, machine's application. So we provide the four inch SPCs the run, uh, with the four the GBE Ethernet inside. This is uh, the four GBE Ethernet. It's a focus on not only for the vision, you can also, uh, customer can also do the some a network appliance, uh, the feature inside. So. Uh, not only that, the uh, low power consumption or the wide range, the power input, uh, it's also the, it's, uh, the, the key features on this kind of SBC. Okay, so not only the, the, the big size or powerful, uh, the bus SBC for the factory automation, some, com some of the, the compact size, the industry computing uh, bus PC is also the for uh, like the, the vibration analysis application over here. By using this kind of complex size the bus pieces, the, the use case that can be connected to its uh, the vibration sensors device for the, the remote monitoring. Yeah. Uh, this is the last page, the use case for the age analysis systems with the very powerful uh, core insights. Uh, 
also very big bus with the red mount for you bus. Okay, so the key features on that is the powerful systems and with the lots of uh, like uh, uh, displays output for for the application and it's very flexible and a lot of IO for, for the customer. Yeah. Okay, the, that's all my presentation today. So, uh, make a conclusion here. So you can see so on the factory automation, you can choose your right platform, always a support first. So the base count basically on the different kind of uh, uh, application like the H side or the, the gateway side, it's uh, quite different. So DFI provide a lot of products for our customers. So you can contact our local sales to this further discussion. Uh, now it's on the Q and A times. Uh, we will have uh, two minutes. If you have any question, please. Uh, type on the chat box or will raise your hand. Okay, uh, since like the, on the webinar I have a no uh, for further questions already. Uh, Okay, there's one question talk about, do we have uh, any recommend graphic cards for the vision uh, automations? Uh, on our the bus PC team, they do have a lot of use case for the, the quite popular uh, graphic card on their side. So basically I would say yes. And uh, another the considered issue is that uh, depends on your software, uh, the loading. So it's a lot of uh, graphic card can be to be choose. Okay. Okay. Okay, thank you again. So after the webinar, we will provide the, the PowerPoint, uh, the file to our uh, guests. And others like the, on the next week, we will have another topic for the medical. So thank you again. See you.